There's been an ominous cloud hanging over Britain's second city, now the largest to be subject to extra restrictions. A steep rise in infections in recent days made it inevitable. Now 1.6 million people are to be banned from mixing in homes and gardens with those they don't live with. In the fact that we won't be able to see each other as much as we used to, well, that's going to be really, really hard and harsh. It's essential you've got to be willing to go with it because hospitals are going to get jammed again. People aren't doing what the government says, so wearing face masks, no one's really doing that anymore. Uh, Do you think people will follow this? Probably not. I don't think so. In one of Europe's youngest cities, it is those under 40 who've been testing positive in ever more alarming numbers. Birmingham had 32 cases per 100,000 people at the end of August. Within just a week, that figure had jumped to 78. Neighbouring Solihull, where restrictions will also apply, has a rate of 62. For Sandwell, the figure is more than 42. We think it's mostly about transmission in households. It's not about schools, it's not about public transport, it's about people being probably slightly off guard when they have other people to their home or garden or they go visiting. Doctors believe that has already led to an increase in hospital admissions due to COVID-19 here. From a hospital perspective, we're really very concerned. We've, we've seen a doubling in, in the number of patients, both in the hospital and in the intensive care units for two weeks now. Uh, so currently we've got 72 patients in the hospital, nine of them in intensive care. Amir Awan is also worried and angry about what he's seeing. His father Nazir died from the virus in April at the age of 67. His desk in the family business remains empty, while Amer has watched pubs, restaurants and people's homes fill up in recent weeks. I had to tell my mother through a door window that our father passed away. I couldn't hug her, couldn't hold her. We still feel that, that, that terrible loss, that void in our lives of my father, and I wouldn't wish that on anybody. And It's the only way we can do it, it's just to control uh, uh, and, and live the way the government is asking us to live. Just social distance yourself for a short while. Birmingham is now battling to avoid a repeat of the tragedies of the spring with new rules and new testing, including a door-to-door -door service in the worst-hit communities, with more restrictions promised if infections continue to rise. Well, Ben, let's talk about these current restrictions. Just how tight are they? Well, they're very clear that from next Tuesday it will be illegal to host somebody in your own home or garden or to visit somebody else's home or garden if you live in Birmingham, Solihull or Sandwell. What has been rather less clear this afternoon is whether you can meet up with somebody you don't live with in a pub or a restaurant. Businesses in the city centre, for instance, understandably keen to know how this might affect them. Our understanding of the new rules is that it won't be illegal to meet up in the pub, but people are being strongly advised to avoid socialising with somebody they don't live with anywhere, such as the level of concern about how fast the number of cases uh, is rising here. That ambiguity is likely to be less than helpful, I think, particularly in the coming weeks when Birmingham faces some challenges, not least thousands of students returning to universities. Also, some questions about why these measures don't take effect until Tuesday, when the situation appears to be so urgent. The mayor of the West Midlands is urging people to start following them straight away. All right, Ben, thank you.